So maybe first one verse. So everybody knows, or maybe somebody knows, <coughs> Cheto Dalpana Marijanam, Baba Maha Dabagni Nirbapanam, Shriya Kairaba Chandrika Bitaranam, Bidya Baduji Banam, Anandam Budi Badanam, Brati Panam Purunam Rita Swadanam, Sarbatana Snapanam, Param Bijayate Shri Krishna Sankirita. Verse 1. All glories to the progressional chanting of Sri Krishna holy name, which cleanses the mirror of the heart and mind, which extinguishes the forest fire of material existence, which, sp which spreads moonlight on the white lotus of good fortune which is the life of the bride, named Transcendental Knowledge. Will you explain? Yeah. Oh, must say, please, please. Which, which increases the ocean of Transcendental Bliss, which makes us relish full nectar at every step and which thus showers the whole self. Yes, this is the, the explanation. One of the reasons of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the purifier of the age of Kali, to descend the material world was to bless the people by giving them transcendental love of the inhabitants of Raja for Krishna Chaitanya Charitamrita says. Nija Buddha Karya. So, Tomara, Shema, Vish, Ashwadana, huh? Ashwadana, Anusanga, Prema, Maya, Koli, Tripubana, Tripubana. Yeah, you know, yeah, so we cannot read, you know, we, you know, we don't need to read here. Okay. Only. The secret reason for your decent is to taste love of God, to fill the three walls with this, this love was a side effect. <laughs> to fill the three word, words world with this love was side effects. With these two duties, Mahaprabhu was in, incumbent, encumbered through our His manifest appearance. When the Lord was preaching the Sankirtana all over Nadia, he ordered his companions give the fruit of love to God to anyone at any place. After he took sannyasa, the Lord began to travel to South India and to Vraja, distributing prema all over India, even to the lions, tigers, vines, trees, and other creatures of the Jarikhanda forest. In the final 18 years of his manifest pastime, he stayed at Jag Jagannath Puri and became absorbed in the international reasons for his descent. For his descent to taste the love of Sri Radha. There was no opportunity for him to write books in the order to preach this prema. But he personally instructed his flowers such as Sri Rupa and Sanatana in this regard and had this work done through them. He himself was absorbed in transcendental emotions along with his Sri Sarupa. Dimodara, Damodara and Ramananda Raya at Puri and left only eight verses with this most confidential and essential teachings. Behind for the people of the world, the teaching of Sriman Mahaprabhu are the essence of all teachings. Everything auspicious to describe that could give peace and satisfaction. 
he thus hung around the necks of the people of the world like a necklace containing eight pearls Srila Krishna Dasa Kaviraja Goswami has included this Shiksha Stikam in the final chapter of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Yes. Okay. This is, so this is interesting. Mahaprabhu descend this material world by giving them the transcendent love of the inhabitant of Buraja for Krishna. So this Baba is description is actually indirectly. So what do you think this is the transcendent love of the inhabitants of Buraja for Krishna? He gave Mahaprabhu means. He gave Baba. No, I'm just trying to clarify for myself what I'm hearing. <clears throat> Mahaprabhu gave the Baba of Rajabasi mm. to the uh, Jivas of this world. Mm. Yes, it's it's written in Chitan Charitamrita. Premaras, Niryas, Koritas, Vadan, Raga, Marga, Bhakti, Lokti, Koriti, Pracharan. He, Koriti, Pracharan, made preaching of Raga, Bhakti. Mm. Raga, Bhakti means all types of Raga, means of type spontaneous attraction towards Krishna mm. in all Bhavas, mm. in parentship, in friendship, mm. and in Madhuri Rasa also, romantic relationship. Mm. But our Acharyas, who did it, because he did it uh, so much is through Acharyas, through Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Goswami, and through Oparampara. The main message is, uh, is in Madhuri Rasa, not friendship, not parentship. No, they gave uh, Ardadasyam. This is the main message. Yes. Radhadasyam. I heard one story okay. about why, why Radhadasyam. Mm -hmm. When Krishna was small, once he uh, played with his uh, cover, uh, with his boys, his friends, mm. and they, as a friends, started to tease him. Mm. And they tell him, you know, Krishna, actually your mother and father, not your mother and father. How possible? What are you telling? They, they are my mother and father. No, 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 look at yourself. You're dark, mm. but your mother and father are light. How is it possible? And you know, they, at age of 50, in this age, usually people not giving birth to the children. Hmm. But really, we know the one story. One by one, they're telling like this to Krishna. Arguments. Because Krishna was not agreeing. Really, we know one story. Once Nanda Baba came to the forest and fought on the road, attacking someone in the hole of a tree. And he found where small children. And he took away this crow and took his children to the house. It was you. It was last argument. When Krishna heard this, he cried so much. I have my mother, I have my father, I am alone. He ran to the house, to his home, and crying, and crying. And mother showed that he started to pacify him, but it was very difficult. Ultimately, she pacified him, asked Krishna, my son, what's my seat? What's happened? And he told, you're not my mother. Who told you? My friends told. What they told? And he gave his arguments, what I'm dark, you're light. Oh, you know why? Because when you was a small, or before you took birth, we had desire with my husband. He started to work, yeah. We had desire to get children, but special children. And, and this son, and we started to worship Shagram Shila. Switch off the router and do it again. Switch off and switch on. You can do no switch off and switch on. Can I say something? Switch. The plug. The plug. Do it again. 
Should go the phones to here, but his router is not working. And he surely came to to found how to, what to do. Hmm. And she thought, I worship Shogram Shil. Shogram Shil is dark. What is why you become dark? And you're telling I'm old, but then you want to meal my milk. I'm not old. And then Krishna understood, yes, you're my mother. And she, he was happy. But in that moment, Purnamasi came and uh, Yashoda narrated what's happened. And Purnamasi thought, don't worry, Krishna. I am, how to say, uh, as altered, <laughs> I'm telling you, everyone in Raja knows what you are, son of Yashoda and Nandruba. They all son, not adopted son. Everyone knows. They are friends just teasing you. And then Purnamasi. Purnamasi came uh, in this moment and told Krishna, everyone Raja knows what you are, the real son of Yashoda, not adopted son, real son of Nanda and Yashoda. Because when he was born, lady was present there in the room. They saw it. The close, uh, close friends of Yashoda. It's actually written in Gopal Champo how Krishna was born in Vrindavan by Jiva Goswami. And then Krishna asked some, his, it was secret, his design in the heart. It was, Krishna was born in Matra, no? No. Krishna was born in Raja. It's written in Bhagavatam. It's written in Bhagavatam. Then Nanda had desire to go to Mathura for giving tax. He put Krishna on his lap and did like this from his head. It's written there. He took his own son, not adopted. It's written in Sanskrit. He took his own son, Atmaja, who was born from his body, from who come from him, not come from outside. And also Gopi, then Gopi, uh, uh, it's, in, it's written in Gopi Gita. They tell him, this Raja glorious because you was born here. Gopi telling to Krishna. No! Krishna was born here. It's written by Acharis, Jiva Goswami. It's written in, it's written in Bhagavatam. Also in Bhagavatam, one more evidence. Then Kamsa uh, want to kill small girl in the hand of uh, they were like, here. Yeah. It's written. She is Anu. She is Vishnu Anuja, the younger sister of Vishnu. She was born from Mother Yashoda. Mother Yashoda gave birth two children. One girl and one son. First Krishna was born, and then this daughter came. What is why she is Vishnu Anuja? It was our in our parampara we have this message. Who is outside of this parampara? They thinking like Madhura Vaisi. They thinking what he was born in Madhura. It is actually how to say propaganda of Madhura Vaisi. We are Brajabasi. For us, Krishna. He is from here. It's, I'm just repeating the words of Narendra Sam Maharaj. He gave his evidence and he gave to us this message. He came to Goku Mahavan and local Brahman start uh, Pando. He started to preach. He started to explain Krishna was born in Madhura and then Vasudeva brought him to Rindown. As generally th people thinking, actually. Yeah, this is yes. yes, I know. It's it's a general message what we are, we are learning. From, because it looks like this. If you will read Bhagavatam, it looks like this. When Narendra Samaraj heard this, he thought, you know why we are speaking like this? Because you eat too much peru from Madhura. <laughs> he thought, you eat it too much. How you can re deny your own fortune? Krishna was born here, and your servant in the place of he is born. Why deny your, your fortune? It's your real fortune, happiness, and glory. Don't deny. And he gave so many praman, so many evidence what Krishna was born in Vrindavan. Vrindavan, which uh, In Gokul Mahavan. In Gokul Mahavan. Uh, 
<clears throat> it's written back out um, Krishna Devaki Nandana. Devaki Nandana. And what does mean Devaki? It's other name of Yashoda. It's it's a, one more na name of Yashoda. It's uh, what it's uh, explaining by our acharyas in our parampara, which is coming from Rupa Gasami, Raghunanda Gasami, to which belongs our Guru Dev. You can you can ask him. Yes, like exactly. Hi, I have just told that Krishna was born in Mathura. Then. Yes, so actually both true. So Krishna has two features. Brajendra Nandana Krishna and and. Uh, Devaki Nandana, Yashoda, eh, eh, Devaki Nandana, Vasudeva Krishna. Devaki Nandana, Vasudeva Krishna. Vasudeva Krishna. So, original Krishna is never leave Vrindavan. Original Krishna. So, but uh, some, if we go to outside Braja, he expand Vasudeva future. You know, Vasudeva Pradimuna, Anirutta, Sankarishana. Mm. So, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna is Krishna, but a different kind of expansion of Krishna go to Mathura. So therefore both is correct. So original Krishna never, never leave Vrindavan. So anyway, so I want to this, go back to this, this subject. Uh, uh, I not finished story okay. about okay. why Mahaprabhu, so, why so, Krishna came as Mahaprabhu. So, who gave birth to Krishna? Yes, you Yashodamaya. Yeah, here in Buraja Yashodamaya. And uh, and then Matura Devaki. Mathuresh Krishna was born in Mathura. Mathuresh Krishna was born in Mathura from Devaki. But Jandrananda Krishna was born here. In so this, is, this, this is Bas Deva Krishna. Mathura is a kind of expansion Krishna. Here, original Krishna is here. So, but you know, this is a little bit deep subject, so maybe we... Maybe. Anyway, Krishna, uh, he, he told to Parnamasi, I won't be golden, I don't want to be duck. And she told, yeah, it's possible, you must more eat yogurt and uh, butter, makkan. She told, I already eat it so much, but I'm still duck. And she told, yes, but it's not enough, you're not, wor you're, you're not yet, you're not worship the golden gopis. You must worship they food dust, smear all your body. Then they mood coming, and then you become golden. Wow! And once Krishna worship, really worship, most golden gopi, Shrimati Radhika in Silakunj. And after this, he came to here. Why? Because he found Shrimati Radhika loves him, only him. It's called Ekanishta. She loves only him. Mm. But he could not not respond to other devotees. He loves Shemati Radhika, but he also coming to other gopis, for example. And he is thinking, how can I respond to Shemati Radhika? And he come as Mahaprabhu to distribute such a mood by which devotees will be completely belong to Shemati Radhika. They will belong to Mahaprabhu. They will be followers of Mahaprabhu, but they will give their heart to Shrimati Radhika means we will be in Manjari Bhava. Yes, this is story. Yes, very nice story. So he's saying, Radha Charampam is saying, Krishna is blackish, so he wants to become golden color. Then Purnamash is suggesting, so you can smear dust of someone who is golden, means gopis especially Radharani, and then smear the body in Seva Kunja and worship Radharani, and then he become, gets the mood of Radharani, and then become golden. That is the story. So, and this interesting, uh, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, uh, Kaviraj Gosami say, Mahaprabhu appear to teach Raga Bhakti. Then question is coming. What is Raga Bhakti in Buraja? But if we read Chaitanya Charitamrita, Kaviraj Gosami did not explain 
most of the time, actually almost nothing to describe sakya rasa. Maybe some, but almost nothing. He did not describe basera rasa. Only describe madura rasa. Especially gopi and radas. Especially radha rani's love. Only describe Mahaprabhu interesting this gopi, especially Radha's love. So therefore, if I, we read Chaitanya Charitamrita, that Raga Bhakti means Radha Baba. What is Radha Baba? Who knows Radha Baba? Is Manjari. So actually, <coughs> Mahaprabhu came to hear this transcendent love of the inhabitants of Buraja. But who is inhabitant of Buraja? Actually, this is Gopi. Among the Gopi, this is Srimati Radharani. But the Baba explained indirectly. So, and then next sentence. <clears throat> the secret reason for your descendant, sacred reason of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descendant, is to taste the love of God. So, what is the taste? What kind of taste Mahaprabhu want to taste the love of God with? So we know this taste is Radharani's feeling. Radharani needs love. So who knows Radharani's love? This is Manjari. So Gurudev said, this is actually, he did not mention clearly, but this is kind of Manjari's Baba. Also, interesting. Give the fruits of love of God to anyone at any place. So question may arise, what is the fruits of love of God? This is interesting. Hmm? Yeah, but fruits of fat is fruits means fruits means fat is the most tasteful thing of this love of God. This Radharani Baba and Manjari's Baba. Because Radha's Baba, Manjari's Baba is one sense same. Because Radha and Manjari is so connected. So this is very interesting. So tasting the love of Sri Radha. So this, then he say, Baba say, in the final 18 years of his manifest pastime, he stay at Jagannatha Puri, become absorbed in the internal reason for his descendant to taste love of Sri Radha. So Mahaprabhu want to taste the love of Sri Radha. So this is sorry. This is in this. <clears throat> in the first verse of Lord verse the Lord says, the Krishna Nama Sankirtana which cleanses the mirror of the heart, which ex extinguishes the great forest fire of material existence, which is the moonlight that causes the lotus flower of auspiciousness to blossom, which is the very life of the bright of transcendental knowledge, which extends the ocean of transcendental bliss, which makes us taste the full nectar at every step, and which bath the self. Bath is the ah, self. Like a maze. maze is it is the self. Satisfying the senses, the mind, the intelligence upon the pure spirit soul is supreme. Prema or love of God will be manifest to everyone who offensively chants this Sankirtana that was preached to the world by Srima, Sriman Mahaprabhu, Srimat Sanatana Goswami wrote in his Bhagavatam. Nihata Bhagavatam. 
बृहद भाग उत्तम बता सो आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी नॉट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो हिस्से इफ वी चैन टू नाम संकीर ऑफेंस वी कैन गेट लव ऑफ गोट हेड जे जे so we we may and we we may know what is the offense to the holy name and then baba explain second bus of uh offense to the the uh, holy name nama parada so <clears throat> i did not go through everything but uh, i have read this this Baba's explanation and most heinous, most dangerous offense is sadhu ninda. Means, but to say, kind of uh, give some, what do you say, ninda means kind of. It's bad thinking, bad thinking. But thinking, but words, but activity. It's more, even more with feelings towards Vaishnava. Feeling bad, say bad, mm. act bad. This is kind of ninda. So, and then... The disrespect also. Yes, disrespect. And so, this, I want to share, this is very, I was so impressed by Baba's word. So, I want to... <laughs> Okay. So then question is Oka, who is Sadhu? Sadhu Ninda. So offense to the Sadhu is not good. So then question may arise. Ja, who is Sadhu? Then he said, sometimes we are thinking, we are thinking, those devotees who are merciful, non-violent, tolerant, who has good quality, that is only sad. Hmm? You, you understand? Sometimes we think sad is like a perfect sad. Mm -hmm. You know, very merciful, tolerant, you know, kind, well behaved. So, but here Baba said, and sometimes we think, someone who has not good quality, like ill behaved, tell lie, hypocritic, unclean, that is not sad, we are thinking. But here Baba says, actually, anyone who worship God, be he deceitful, ill-behaved, hypocritical, and unclean, even though they have such quality, somehow anyone who worship God is saying sad. Mm. So therefore, to blaspheme or criticize such person is an offense to the Holy Name. Mm. So sometimes we're thinking, you know, oh, he's a neophyte, or oh, he does not behave nicely, therefore he's not a sadhu. But according to Vishwana Chakrabati Thakur and Anandas Bhaj Maharaj, he said, no, anyone who worship God is sadhu. Sure. This is very Radhe in this case, what does mean worship? I think there are differences. Not only to say, oh yes, in the morning I love you and forget the whole day is you know what I mean? When do someone really worship God? In front in this case. So thank you. Yeah, this is not described, but my understanding like this. Someone who has fixed Ishtadeva, 
So, say, oh, Krishna's my Ishta Deva. Some of us say, oh, Krishna's my Lord. Or say, Radha Mohan's my Lord. If thinking like this, and worshiping means chanting and go to, you know, Arctic, some seba, whatever seba. If fixing this kind of, you know, oh, my Krishna's my, my worship of Lord. If someone who's thinking like this, and even saying like this, that is, I, I feel this is a kind of worshiping. Worship means, uh, fixing on okay. Ishtadevata means he already chose his heart accepted particular Thakurji. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, like, you know, one of offenses, you know, some demigod, like Shiva Brahma, is the same as Lord Vishnu. You know, some people worship, you know, Vishnu, Brahma, Shiva, Durga, Ganesha, everybody worshiping. But uh, I think this is, you know, if worship very sincerely, oh, he's my Lord, I think that person, or sometimes Mahaprabhu say, Mahaprabhu's words, one devotee asking, who is Vaishnava? <clears throat> then Mahaprabhu say, even once chanting holy names, Lord, this is Vaishnava. So in that Mahaprabhu sense, anyone who chant holy name, one time. even one time, that's also Vaishnava. That's also we may consider sadhu. Mm. What do you think? I, I remember a uh, commentary of Bhaksan Saraswati on this definition. It's, it's uh, this definition we can find on the thief shloka of Bodhisattva. Uh, and Bhaksan Saraswati explaining what does it mean uh, one time is chanting Harinam. This devotee received incension Harinam from real Guru. And he is really trying to follow his guru. Even his kanishta means uh, the beginner of beginning in devotion, but he really trying to follow as he can. And sometime the holy name once can come in his turn. This means once he chant holy name. It's according to Bhaksan Sarasati. Yeah, also true. That's also true. But the broad sense, anyone who chant Maha Mantra, because because. Krishna's heart attracted, Radha's attracted. Like I say, you know, even Kri, Krish, and then Radhika's was, you know, oh my God, and then Na, and then Radhika's kind of attention go to that person. Yeah. So even if someone say La, then Krishna thinking, oh, who is chanting? And then Da, then Krishna running after that person. Of course, you know, and the, from beginning, especially from beginning, they don't chant, you know, offenselessly. Like I say, please chant Hare Krishna. Hey, what is Hare Krishna, you know? I don't, you know, I don't know Hare Krishna. Just to, what do you say? Yeah, invoking. Oh. Yeah, you know, just chant, you know, what is Hare Krishna? Hare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, you know, but that is not offensive, actually. This is kind of nama bus, but still, you know, it works. So this is maybe many argument, but uh, so, but uh, broad sense, someone who chant Hare Krishna even once, that's also broad sense may uh, understand some sad. And more, more strict sense is like, uh, you know, some who initiate, some have the kind of, uh, you know, fixing deity. This is my worship, brother. That's also it may possible, but uh, it, but uh, better not to. Krishna. Yes. Well, you say no, Krishna. Mm. Can you explain this, Krishna? Uh, Krish. Krish means attract. Yeah. Krish means. Yeah. Okay. Give me a second. 
Mm. It's uh, explained, if I'm not wrong, explained by Shilrupa Goswami. Krish with uh, root in Sanskrit means to attract. Uh, for example, in the name of Sankarshana, who is attracting, who is pulling. Like a karshati. Yeah, karshati. Yeah. And uh, who has such a quality, what he can attract the uh, attention of everyone. And na means to give happiness, to give enjoyment, to give um, sweetness. And this, then together, is Krishna. So the, I heard this. Yes, that's true. And then, therefore, Krishna's means, Prabhupada explained all, attract, all attractiveness, something. So Krishna could attract everybody or every living entity. Say Mahaprabhu was in Jarikanda. Yeah. Jarikanda forest, just Mahaprabhu chanting, walking, then tiger dancing, elephant also following dancing. All animal also, like birds also become like uh, ecstasy. So that means Krishna or Chaitanya or holy name, they attract the heart of all living entity. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's problem. So they can still see us. Stop. Stop. Ah, I want Um, I will, I will be quiet and not quite sure. We have everything okay, the, the others can see you. Oh. So we have a little bit of internet. Well, it's only, I think, Yeah, our problem. <laughs> <It's a problem. laughs> because we don't so, know. On the bottom. <laughs> So maybe you can do it now. Okay, okay, so this is so interesting. So most careful thing is someone who, someone who is chanting, someone who is worshiping, someone who can bring So, or any living entity, we should not offend. That is, I think, the best way. <laughs> Yes, yes. I can try. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. And then, yeah. And then, as Sanatana goes on, we have to bargain with the Murita. Uh, maybe try to switch one and switch off. Remote, remote. It's remote. Yes, yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Brothers and sisters. Okay, sorry. Okay, start. <clears throat> the most intimate and powerful means to attain the treasure of love of Krishna in Nama Sankirtana. It is supreme, supremely attractive just like a mantra. That is why the Rasikas <laughs> In his own commentary on the, this was Sanatana Goswami writes, no, 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 no. Yes, Some, someone may say, the food of all sadhana bhakti is praying, and the chanting of the holy name is just a means of its attainment. How can you then call chanting? The food of devotion. 
The answer is because the appearance of prema is invited to the practice of chanting. Because the appearance of prema is invited to the practice of chanting. It has been called the fruit of devotion as well. So this is interesting. So our goal is prema. And then to some some devotee thinking to attain prema, the process is chanting. They are thinking. Means sadhana, sadhya, sadhana. Goal is sadhya. Sadhana is a process to attain goal. But sometimes we're thinking, oh, chanting just to attain prema. He said, but, but actually not like this. Chanting a holy name is process and also goal itself. So it is a sadhya sadhana. Same. Chanting a holy name is goal and also process. That means, that, what do you mean? For us, we are sadhaka, we are practitioners. We are chanting to get prema. But also someone who is Siddha, someone gets some perfection, Swarpa Siddhi, still he is chanting, or she is chanting. Because chanting means express feeling of love. Say, if we love, say, if we love somebody, like say, I love Prashantabaya, then automatically names come. So if we attain prema, automatically names come. Radha, Mohan, Krishna, come. So therefore, chanting Maha Mantra, we can chant Sadhana stage, also we can chant Siddha stage. If, if, if we attain prema, still we chant because name is prema itself. Let's say Krishna, Nama, and Nami itself. One. Radha, Radha's Nam, Radha's Nami, Radha herself also, same one. In spiritual point of view. So therefore, this is very important point. Nama is not only Sadhana, but also Sadhya, goal itself. This is very important. Yeah. Next year, I'm to go to the first. Yes, it's written up. Next year, I have eagerness to see how you know him, which is not that good. To see Hari in this law, which is not ready. This type of singing of Hari Nam is very good. Yes. Good. Because uh, when I'm reading, I'm getting this desire. Why? I also want to do it. Because Radhika wants to hear her Rabba's name, or Rabba's glory, Rabba's guna. Or sometimes, you know, want to hear Rabba's Rupa, you know, Nam, Rupa, Guna, and Vira. Uh, Nama, Rupa, Guna, huh? and Vira. Vira, Vira, Vira. So if we love somebody, we want to know somebody's name, somebody, what kind of, you know, teacher, some, what kind of, you know, and uh, yeah, and Rupa. And also we, we want to know what kind of quality she has or he has. What kind of vira, what kind of deed she did or he did. This is natural thing. So therefore manjari is one of the one of the seva is in the kind of something kirtan or sometimes dana or singing. Sometimes, you know, Krishna pain, 
Pasante a Uraji Cafe, and Manjari is singing something, and sometimes chanting the more. So that is very difficult to have a chance. So, very difficult. Uh, I don't know if it's good enough. Some can't be invited to get curious when you go out to the ocean. <coughs> yes, that's very Chinanda Mahadas is singing on the song. When he is giving, he is singing on the song. When he is giving, he is singing on the song. He is always knows. And he is telling, in that way, he is full of those in the past, in the present, and in the future. Now we are not a child, but I already can understand. Because because according to Shai Chitanta or Jesus, so in one day we will become a child. Also, in Chaitanya Charitamrita's Kabiraj Goswami said, someone who thinks this vice is high, this vice is low, that is the wrong conception. So means, you know, sometimes we are material mind, we are thinking this is low person, this is high person. This is a new white person, this is the old you know, senior person. Maybe true, but uh, we don't know spiritual things. We don't know this person's previous activity, previous sanskar, maybe you know, previous life, maybe great devotee. We never know. So Kaviraj Gosam is saying, we should not discriminate this is high, this is low. We should pay obeisance to all the devotees, all the Vaishnava devotees. And this is a safe position. But we think, because, <coughs> because the other Vaishnava think I'm lowest, others highest. I, I'm lowest person. This is Tunada P, Sunichena, Karola P, Sahishin, Amani Namara, so real Vaishnava are thinking, I am lowest, so therefore I pay respect to all Vaishnava devotees, and not only Vaishnava, all living entities, mm -hmm. even three dogs. So, a very nice story I want to share. One day, <coughs> a Siddha Guru there, mm -hmm. Siddha, very nice Guru, very highest grade of Guru. So one disciple wants to take initiation, take diksha, and approach that Guru Dev. So Guru Dev but this person is very powerful. He has so much pride. So that candidate wants to be disciple, approach Guru Dev. And then Guru Dev said, Okay, okay, I have one condition for you. So I give you one week, seven days. After seven days, you should bring more inf in inferior person or inferior living entity than you. If you could bring that person, I give you initiative. <laughs> Very interesting, you know. <laughs> so, and then that devotee is thinking, you know, ah, this is easy because I'm very good to pass, I'm very qualified, you know. Very, you know, and then start thinking, you know, oh, maybe this person, you know, is inferior than I. Then start thinking, wait a minute, he has nice quality. I. So he starts thinking slowly, slowly, good quality by the mercy of this good day. And then he was starting thinking, oh, maybe this person, but uh, he could find out all good quality slowly, slowly. Then he starts thinking, oh, maybe this, this animal is maybe wrong. But he starts thinking, no, this animal also has a good quality. I said, they think, oh, trees, trees, not a good. 
Actually, no. Actually, please give us fruit, shade, and three cut something, but he did not say anything. I say anything, you know, everything. Oh, I need this one, I need this. Then, you know, then start thinking. Yeah, and then start thinking, you know, or maybe, and then go to Twilight and see the you know, stool and then warm it there. Or maybe this mind is maybe incredible. But this stool actually, before, is open to the room. And then, and this is this creature also eating this kind of natural thing. Oh my God. I cannot find out, find out any person, you know, who is lowest the eye. Then, after seven days, he find out, actually, I'm lowest person. Maybe I may not to get diksha, but I have to approach you then. Then say he said to you then, you then, I found out nobody is inferior than I. I found out by your mercy, I'm the lowest creature in this world. I bring myself in front of you. So I am inferior than anybody else. So I'm the lowest person. I bring myself in front of you. So please, please help me. Then Guru Dev said, now you understand. Now you have qualification to have a diction. Then Guru Dev give a diction. This time, dear story, I understand. So that means, you know, we are thinking, oh, I'm senior than you. I know many things than you. I experience many things than you. But actually, it's not true. Maybe true. But, but we cannot say, I'm higher than you. The advice I'm thinking, I'm lowest. So therefore, if we think like this, we don't make any offense to any living being. This is, you know, this is a very interesting you know, story from another The most intimate and powerful way to attain the pleasure of the, the Krishna is Nama Sankirtan. It is supremely attractive just like a mantra. That is why Rasikas conscious also consider this to be food of devotion. Yes, yes. In his own commentary of um, on this voice, Sanatana Goswami writes, Someone may say, the fruit of all sadhana bhakti is craving, and chanting of the holy name is just a mean of its attainment. Or you can get all chanting the fruit of devotion. The answer is because the appearance of the prema is invited to the first practice of chanting. It has to be we call the fruit of devotion as well. Shivan Mahaprabhu therefore opens his Sikshastra by saying, Prana, victory to chant, chanting of Sri Krishna name, it is one on the summit of spiritual practices and spiritual growth. Shivan Mahaprabhu taught Srila Sanatana Muslim. Of all the sorts of worship, the nine kind of devotion mentioned in Chim Bhagavata are the best. They have the great power of to bestow Krishna and love of Krishna. Of all this, 
mind practices. The best is Mama Sankirtana. When one chants offenses, offers, mostly one finds the treasure of love of Krishna. When one chants offenses, offenselessly, one finds the treasure of love of Krishna. And thus there is no consideration of time and place. Qualification of disqual qualification of disqualification while beginning his teaching of Srikshastika, the Lord said. The Lord basically said, listen to Rupa and Rama Maya. In the age of Kali, the best means of deliverance is Nama Sankhita. It is both the best means and the highest goal. The meaning of Sankirtana is full glorification. This has two meanings. Loudly singing with Nidanga and Bhattala is called Sankirtana. In this commentary on the words of Krishna, Krishna Varnam, to Jiva, go. Sankirtana means meeting with many people to basically sending an obstruction. And Nama Sankirtana, it is certainly the best to chant the holy name loudly. Like Ramani means like, uh, you know, when you're singing simply, yeah, like yeah. some people, you know, like, uh, not to, not to, not to, not to inside, but to inside. Yeah, now it's like uh, outside, you hear some other people to hear. When you're chanting, you say you should be inside or you should want to? You know, like Japa is like, uh, you know, we, we keep quiet. But uh, this Sankirtan is like singing, sing, like singing, sing, 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 sing. like, like, uh, yeah, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like Arati. It is certainly the best to chant the holy name loudly. It provides the following evidences along with logical argument. In Bhakti, in Dharva, chapter 269. Yes, but this is a Those who are chanting loudly are not only benefiting themselves, but they are also all other living in an entity. The Radha, Mataya, Pages, Love. Vishyama Dev and the Vishyama Purana, he says, O oh Lord, those great souls who Lord be chant the holy name, the paramount bliss should be known as the greatest strength of the whole living and history. The Ketan Bhagavata Chapter 14, three, Haridasa Thakur said about loud chanting. When doing japa, soft or mental chanting and beats on one arm. On one turn. Not only this, the demon redeems oneself, oneself but the Lord chanter also benefits others. Like all the scriptures say that Lord can Krishna is a hundred times more good, more beneficial. Lord Krishna is hundred times more beneficial. So only he feeds themselves and another three thousand people. You can easily understand which one is the best of the two. Such is the glory of Lord Chanting. Full Kirtana can also be leaving the mind of the Relishing the sweetness of Sri Krishna and thus chanting the name with full attention.
great love and affection. This means one should not chant simply to complete a compulsory daily number of runs just like a machine. No affection was mine. This means one should not chant simply to complete a compulsory daily number of runs just like a machine. No affection is not that mine. In this Krishna's Sandal was commentary on Timo Bhagavatam. The Jiva Vishwan device. One can chant the Lord name in two ways. Devala means chanting. In such Neha, Neha, Samyukta, Vitala. It's Neha Samyukta. With love, mm. an offenseless person who means can will attain the abode of Lord only. Mm. The no chance with love will be able to decide near the Lord and Samitra. <coughs> so this Baba is okay. okay. So this Baba explained <coughs> chanting two ways. Quiet uh, mental chanting and also loud chanting. And loud chanting is better because other living is here. Especially Sankirtan. Mm. So again, he is saying, chanting the Lord's name, chanting the holy name in two ways. Kevara is just chanting. Or kind of, you know, ordinary chanting. And Suneha Samyukta chanting. Chanting, ordinary chanting with love chanting. Suneha, with some relations with love, chanting. So what's the difference Baba mentioned? If no. Suneha Samyukta. So if we ordinary chanting, say, kind of, yeah, Kebara chanting, Kebara means just pure chanting, not that, but pure. So that Kevara chanting, ordinary chanting, we can go back to Godhead only, Saroke. We don't know which kind of person. Lord is a very, very far away, but we don't know we are human or we don't know. But we can go back to Godhead. But Sreha chanting, we can go near to the Lord. Like I said, we stay in Mungiraj Mandi. Some are stay very far away, room, only room may stay. Don't go to Arati, don't go to see Guru Dev, Sadhu Maharaj. Just stay in the room. That's also one way. Stay in the room. Stay in the room, Mungiraj Mandi. But some pass is very close with Guru Dev, close with Diti. You know, every time you go to see Guru Dev, every time you go to see the deity, Darshan. So this kind of difference there. <coughs> so, and means, this is my comment, my feeling. Ordinary chanting is have not to direct relationship with the Lord. But Sneha chanting means we have to have relationship with the Lord. Yeah. So like I say, so like Prashantabai, I know Prashantabai, but if I'm very far away Prashantabai and no relationship, then, oh, just Prashantabai, I know Prashantabai, but I don't know. But we have relations like men, then we chant Prashantabai, then loving mood is coming, then we can go very close. 
the person, maybe we can go eat together tonight. Mm. You know, we can go together to the temple Monday. You know, we can go shopping. We can do this. But if we very far and then chanting just the name, no relations, no feeling. So, and therefore, why do they say feeling and relationship? Because with the relationship, we can go very close with the Lord. Upasana means, so we mentioned, worship means upasana. Upasana means, upa means near, asana means sit. Real worship is sit near. Then we can have some relationship. If we sit very far, it's difficult to get to relationship. That's the and Samitya. Yeah, and Sarokya and Sneha Samitya. Yes, Samipa is like a near. Generally speaking, Samipya means, you know, we go to Baikunta and near the road. But here mentioned we can go road. <coughs> Samipya means not only Baikunta, also, but also we have Buraja also. Near Shri Krishna told the gopis when they came to Rosheta, Oh beautiful girls, the living beings attain Amrita. In order not community or the nectar of love or being devoted to me. Unfortunately, the love you see for me has also been attracted me to you. These words of the Lord proclaim that love is the best way to attract them. Yes. So this may be I message. So there is a uh, Rupa Goswami mentioned in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Uh, sadhana Bhakti, Baba Bhakti and Prema Bhakti symptom. Prema Bhakti is one symptom is that person can attract Krishna or can bind Krishna. So in Gopi's case, Gopi has a full of love. So therefore Gopi could, especially Radharani could bind Krishna or could control Krishna. Means Krishna is under control of Radhika. That's only possible by love. This is very interesting. So I want to story one story. <laughs> so everybody knows Damodara. Damodara means uh, Damo means rope. Udara means berry. So somehow bind the berry is Damodara. Usually Yashoda Maya bind Krishna, right? But the Yashoda Maya, Maya to bind Krishna, it takes some time. Because Yashoda Maya's love is not so very strong. But one day, in Kartik time, Krishna is supposed to go to Radhika's Kunja, one Kunja. But Krishna become late. Radhika become very angry with Krishna. And uh, Radhika bind the golden rope in Krishna's belly. And then Krishna said, and this is Radha Damodara. Radha bind Damodara. Then Krishna said, no, 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 I'm late because Yashoda Maya have festival, you know, I have to attend the festival. You know, I am not to go to another lady's place. No, I have just, to, you know, I have engagement with, you know, my mother. So why you are binding me? And Radhika said, okay, okay, okay. She, you know, okay. yeah, she take out the rope. But the uh, so point is Radhika's love is so strong. So Radhika binds Krishna immediately. Krishna cannot say anything. 
But the Yashoda Maya's case, Krishna ran, you know, ran away. Yashoda is like, uh, he try to, you know, catch him, but uh, it takes some time. Try to bind only two fingers length is short, shortage. So she has to, you know, bind again and again, but she could not. And finally, you know, Krishna is okay. Now your eagerness is more. Now I can bind. So this Ananda Baba said, <laughs> to bind Krishna, we have to be eager. And also <coughs> we have to be full of love. love. Full of love. That is a point. Here also Baba mentioned. Can I read again? Hmm. Oh, beautiful girls, the living beings attain Amrita, immortality or the nectar of love. By being devoted to me, unfortunately, the love you feel for me has forcibly attracted me to you. Those words of the Lord proclaim the love. That love is the best way to attract Him. The same goes to the loudly chanting of the Lord names with love. The name will attract the named. In this way, doing Kirtana with love is just called Sankirtana, complete glorification. Sankirtana means complete glorification. Complete glorification. In this first word, Sriman Mahaprabhu has glorified the chanting of Sri Krishna names in seven specific ways. First of all, he says, the chanting of Sri Krishna's holy name cleanses the mirror of the this heart. Is, this is uh, Baba explained, Cheto Darpana Marjana. So, e every Sanskrit word, he divides seven. So, each seven Sanskrit sentence he want to explain now. So, first sentence, Cheto Darpana Marjana. So, what do you mean Cheto Darpana Marjana? So, this is ex ex explained. Baba explain. Yes. <laughs> the chanting of Sri Krishna's holy name cleanses the mirror of the heart because the heart and minds of non devotees are stained and covered by the desires. For sensual enjoyment, the all pervading, pervading Sri Krishna's and his form, abode, etc., cannot be reject, reflected on them. The clearer a mirror is, the clearer the, an object can be reflected in it. Similarly, the more the mirror of one heart is cleansed through the process of Sri Krishna, Sankirtana, and the more sweet forms of qualities of Sri Krishna can be reflected in it, the Padma Purna states. i read this again. The chanting of Sri Krishna's holy name cleanses the mirror of the heart. Mm. Because the heart and minds of non-devotees are stained and covered by desire mm. for sensual enjoyment. Mm. The all pervading Sri Krishna's and his form, abode, etc., cannot be reflected on them. The clearer a mirror is, the clearer an object can be reflected in it. Mm. Similarly, the more the mirror of one heart is cleansed, cleansed, through the process of Sri Krishna Sankirtana, the most the sweet form of qualities of Sri Krishna can be reflected in it. The Padma Purna states, One of the best Brahmanas, through the chanting of the holy names of the powerful Lord Vishnu or Krishna, all sins are destroyed just at the, as the darkness is destroyed by the appearance of a day. I cannot find any better way for loving, for living in died peace to be purified from all the sins that then the process of Hari Kirtana. Mm. Shri Sanatana Goswami comments on this. I cannot see any other means by which one can atone for all sins and destroy desires to commit them as well. In order to get the result of any kind of spiritual practice, the one most first purify the heart. 
In order to get the result of any kind of spiritual practice, one must purify the heart. Without purification of the heart, no spiritual practice can become successful. Wow. Oh. So this say, Baba say, if we, our heart is not clean, then we cannot real spiritual practice. So Baba say, our mind, our heart should be clean. Otherwise, we could not perceive Krishna. Or if we are contaminated state, we cannot, we cannot advance in spiritual life. So, to chanting from beginning stage is Cheto Dalpana Mahajana. It's cleaning the mirror of heart and mind. Say like uh, if if we go bathroom, the mirror is there. Sometimes mirror is some kind of how say steam or some kind of dirtiness. Then we cannot see our face. So similarly, if we clean our mirror of heart or mirror of mind, then we can see our soul or our ishta day. But without clean, clean, cleaning process, he said, it's impossible and we cannot do any spiritual. So the Vijay chanting the holy names of all powerful Lord Vishnu or Krishna, all sins are destroyed, just as in the darkness is destroyed by appearance of the day. I cannot find any better way for the living of entities to be purified from all the sins that the process of Hari Kirtana. Srila Sanatana Goswami comments on this. I cannot see any other means by which one can atone, atone all the sins and destroy desires to commit them as well. In order to get the result of any kind of spiritual practice, one must first purify the heart. We want to desert any kind of spiritual practice. You have to be hard. We must first purify the heart. Without purify the heart, no, no, no spiritual practice get the result. This is very... Today I read one quotation. The mic. The mic. Okay. So the, today it was... In our lesson, I read quotation, and that's Babaj Maharaj's reading. But the best way to make the heart is clean from all kinds of dirty things, like lust, desires, envy, angerness, is to uh, increase Radha Dasi Abhiman. Radha Dasi Abhiman. Thinking, I'm Radha Dasi. This is the best way. And it's connected to the uh, thinking of Pali name because in other places, under Babaji Maharaj telling, to sing, to chant Radhanam is the best sadhana. Radhanam. All, all, all Manjari sadhana, all the means of Manjari sadhana coming just through Radhanam. Also today, in front of Hong Kong devotees, eh, eh, Easiest way to get the prema is to do madhukari. Oh, yeah, it's very really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he told us. So if you go madhukari, you, you, you know, you will cry. She has come in. <laughs> and humbleness also coming. Yes, he thought it's real broke your false ego. And also false ego is broken. Because uh, this false ego is a problem. False ego prevent us to advance spiritual life. Maharaj, maybe you can say some sentence what Madhukari is for the devotees here. Ah, okay. I think they don't know what they are. Okay, some devotees may not know Madhukari. So Madhu is a bee, like bamboo bee. So bamboo bees go to fly, flower to flower, to pick up some kind of honey. 
But, uh, you know, but the honey goes to little bit take one flower and go to another flower little bit take it. So this madu, like uh, madu do, we do bake the food from other house, but a little bit. So it Shastra say, Sadhu should go to seven house. And if, if, if somebody does not give anything, then stop it. If nothing comes and then fast. And if many things comes and then distribute it. So in, especially Brindavan, some Sadhu do Madhukari, go to, you know, Brajabhasi's house to house. I don't know, some devotee is seven, some devotee is many houses maybe go. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a Brajabasi give us some kind of boga, like rice or atta, mm -hmm. etc. Or some devotee give us roti, chapati, and sabji, or something, sweets or something. So anyway, idea is we bake food from, say, from other householders, then at that time we, we have to be very humble to bake something. And then we can understand the mercy of the Lord. Because by the mercy of the Lord, we can get the food also. But in this material world, we are thinking, Oh, I'm getting this money from this company. I'm getting so much money from my job. Then we easy to forget the mercy of the Lord. But uh, if sadhu always depend on the mercy of Krishna or mercy of the, you know, devotee. So if we do madhukari, we could feel it. Or oh, actually, this is the mercy of Lord. Or oh, this is mercy of Vaishnava or mercy of Brajavasi, we can get food. Without mercy, we can, we can, we cannot do anything. That we can understand by this Madhukari. So Gurudev used to do Madhukari before. So we also now, we sometimes we are doing Madhukari and then we are so much learning from this activity. So in Madhukari, we just get the food or something else? Yeah, sometimes food, sometimes, because in Indian tradition, Vedic tradition, if Sadhu goes and uh, say host or a kind of, you know, householders, they have to give something, this etiquette. And then sometimes they may ask, oh, what do you want? Sometimes Sadhu could ask another thing other than food. For example, once one sadhu visit Hadai Pandit's place, Hadai Pandit Nichanan's father, so one sadhu came, and then Hadai Pandit is a real Brahman, so he's asking, what do you want? What can I do for you? He's asking the sadhu, oh, you need food, I can give food. But Sadhu said, no, I don't need food. I need one, one thing I want to need. Please give me. What is one thing? I need your son, Nitai, mm -hmm. as my personal servant. Mm -hmm. but my personal servant, I'm an old man. I need one, one young boy who can accompany with me, who can do my manual service. I need that person. I found you have son. Nitai, give me Nitai. And then Hadai Pandit was completely shocked because he said, what do you want? Mm. What can I do for you? Then Sadhu said, Vedic culture has to follow. Who feels the desired Sadhu? So, and then Hadai Pandit crying, okay, I give you my Nitai. Because you are begging me and my position, I'm a householder. I have to give to you, to please you. So sometimes, 
Sometimes food, sometimes sadhu may ask another thing from some person. So this is, I don't know, some depend on the sadhu. But generally speaking, at least we have to give some, if nothing there, we have to give some seat to, some seat to sit, some sitting place, or some water, or at least kind words. That we should do this. And if possible, we should feed sadhu, or fulfill sadhu's desire. That is a householder's duty. But in Western world, we forgot everything. We are thinking, oh, I can enjoy this money, this food, this kind of mentality. But in Buraja, still Buraja Mashi want to give some food or, you know, anything to, to the, the sadhu. <clears throat> Is okay? Excuse me. Without purification of the heart, no spiritual practice can become successful. The path of jnana, 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 jnana. The path of jnana, intellectual, spiritual realization, and those who may destroy sins also. But along with the, this, along with the sins, they also burning the heart. Only the chanting of the holy name can wash the mind and heart, just like Ganga water, and make it pure and clear. There is another valuable reason why the heart of the chanter easily becomes purified. If the Lord hears the, his holy name uttered by Whosoever he becomes very attractive and all and will give him either his potential audience, personal audience, or will shower him with his grace in some other way. In this way, the grace of the great saint, faith, and affection awakens, and the goal is reached by taking shelter of, of the lotus feet of Sri Guru. In this devotional scripture, this is called Bhajana Kriya. Huh? Yes, so Bhajana Kriya, here Baba mentioned. Bhajana Kriya is do bhajan, and Kriya means doing. And especially here Baba mentioned to chanting holy name also one process of bhajana kriya and also taking shelter with guru dev and give the mercy give a kind of mantra initiation and then we can start chanting mantra chanting you know holy name so this also one part of bhajana kriya then through bhajana kriya so and many people know the nine process of bhakti. Uh, no, uh, nine. Sadhu Sangha first. Uh, no, uh, sorry. Add, sorry. Shraddha. Add Shraddha. Shraddha face is first. But I think from face, before face also Sadhu Sangha there. Yeah. Actually, from Sadhu Sangha face coming, and the more intimate, the more intimate Sadhu Sangha coming. Mm -hmm. The second is Sadhu Sangha, third one is Bhajana Kriya, taking shelter with Gurudev and do some bhajan or some, some devotion practice. Then, heart is clean, then Anarta Nibriti is coming. Anarta, Anarta is unwanted thing. This fourth stage. Unwanted thing? Unwanted, like kind of, you know, material desire, some ego, like, uh, you know, like many bad quality, we say. Arta means some money, wonderful thing. Anarta means different, no unwanted, no arta. This is anarta. 
in, in the heart. So, and five things we have Nishita, strong faith, this is five. And six, is okay. No, Ruchi after Nishita. Yeah, after Nishita, a Ruchi is coming, some taste is coming. And after Ruchi, Asakti is coming. Asakti is more taste, more fixing, more kind of increasing. And then, uh, and Baba, Lat is coming. Lat means kind of love, but beginning of love, like kind of sprout of love. And then final stage is Prema is coming. So Baba explain this Cheto Dalpana Marjanam is, is kind of cleansing process. Say, like, but you know, do bhajana kriya, then anarta means that this thing with the heart is gone. So, like Baba is saying, like this. Can you read again, say step by step? Okay, first is shuraddha, ado shuraddha, then sadhu sangha is second. Third one is, is bhajana kriya. Fourth one is Anarta Nibuiti. Then Shuratta, I uh, no, no, uh, Nishita is coming, five. Sixth one is Ruchi, taste. Seventh one is Asakti, more deep attachment, more eagerness. And eighth thing is Baba, sometimes we say Rati, in the kind of sprout of love, in the beginning of love. And then, ninth stage of Prema. So, usually every devotee goes through this, this nine step, one by one, generally speaking. So, some person say, you know, difficult to go to, you know, Anarta Nibriti, or difficult to get to, you know, Baba Prema. Maybe true, but also if, if we practice bona fide Guru's instruction, if we practice properly, then we can attain the Prema Prayojana. In this way, the, by the grace of great saint, faith and affection awaken, and the goal is reached by taking shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Guru. And the devotional scripture, this is called Vajana Kripa. Vajana Kripa. Yeah. Wow. So, this actually, we need the mercy of Sadhu. Without the Sadhu, we cannot do bhajan. So kripa means mercy. We need sadhu of kripa and also holy name of kripa, bhajan's kripa, blessing. blessing. Without blessing, we cannot do anything. <laughs> 